So in the previous video, when we were deriving the product moment correlation coefficient, uh, I introduced S, X, Y, which uh, when we write the limits either side, uh, top and bottom of the summation symbol looks like this. So the summation from i is 1 to n of xi take away x bar times yi take away y bar. So each of the data points is xi, yi, okay, from i is 1 up to n, where there are n bits of data, okay? So what we want to do is we want to be able to write this uh, in an alternative form, which is going to allow us to use the summary statistics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the double brackets to start off with. So i is 1 to n, and I'm going to expand the double brackets out. So we have xi times yi. We've got xi times y bar, so minus y bar, so minus uh, xi y bar. We're going to have minus uh, x bar times yi, so yi x bar. And we're going to have minus x bar times minus y bar, so plus x bar y bar. Okay. I'm then going to split this up into several summations. So I'm going to write that as the summation from i is 1 to n of x i y i. Take away the summation from i is 1 to n of x i y bar, take away the summation from i is 1 to n of y i x bar, plus the summation from i is 1 to n of x bar y bar. Now, the summation um, is using the x i y i's. The x bar and the y bar are just uh, constant values. They're constants. Um, so in the same way as you can factor uh, 2 out of an integral. So um, if you've done integration up to this point and you've got something like the integral of 2x dx, you can bring the 2 outside of the integral. Okay, Because the 2 has got nothing to do with what you are integrating. It's just a multiplier. So in the same way, um, I can bring the multiplier outside of the summation sign. And the x bar, y bars, they are just multipliers. So I can write this as the sum from i is 1 to n of x i, y i, take away y bar, times the sum from i is 1 to n of x i. Take away x bar times the sum from i is 1 to n of yi plus, and I can bring both the x bar y bar outside of the summation, i is 1 to n, of, well, 1. That's all I've got left there. Now, this bit I'll leave alone. So the sum from i is 1 to n of x i y i. Now, here, remember what. Um, y bar actually is, okay? So y bar is equal to the sum from i is 1 to n of y i. So all of the y's added together divided by n. That's what y bar actually is. And x bar is the sum from i is 1 to n of all the x i's divided by n. So what you've actually got here is um, y bar, so this, times by the sum from i to 1, i is 1 to n of x i. So this bit is the same as the sum from i is 1 to n of x i times the sum from i is 1 to n of y i, all divided by n. That is the same as that. Likewise here, we've got takeaway. Well, the mean of the x's, x bar, is that. So we've got the sum from i is 1 to n of x i times by the sum from i is 1 to n of y i divided by n. So that is that. 
So you can see that those two things are the same. Okay. Now here we've got x bar times y bar times this summation. Now x bar is this, y bar is this, and the sum from i is 1 to n of 1, well that's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus 1 n times. So how many 1s have you got? Well you've got n 1s. So it's actually that times that times n. So an n will cancel with one of the denominator n's. And so I just get left with take away, or oh sorry, plus uh, the sum from i is 1 to n of xi times the sum from i is 1 to n of yi. Now, I'll just demonstrate the cancellation here. We've currently got n times n, uh, so that's the x bar, that's y bar. I'm multiplying those two together. And I'm now multiplying that by this summation, which is n. So that n is going to cancel with one of those n's. Okay, that's what I'm meaning there. So I'm just going to be left with that. And you can see that that term is the same as that one and the same as that one. So that will cancel with one of those two terms. So that and that will cancel. And so I just get left with the sum from i is 1 to n of x i y i take away the sum from i is 1 to n of x i times the sum from i is 1 to n of y i over n. And that is s x y in um, summary statistic form because I've got the sum of x y's, I've got the sum of x's, the sum of y's, and I've got n. This is all uh, stuff that I could get from my calculator, but I won't get it. I, I won't be asked to get it from my calculator. I'll just be given sum of x y, sum of x, sum of y, and n, substitute into the formula, and there I've got s x y. So. Sometimes, of course, you see the abbreviation of not having the i as 1 to n part. So we can write s x y as equal to the sum of the x y's. Take away the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's divided by n. Okay, and so that is how we can get a... a an easier to use in the majority of cases form for SXY.